Hi, my name is Mula from AgriPredict, and we make farming cool. I'd like to introduce you to my friend, Mr. Piri, who, like myself, is a farmer that comes from Zambia, which is a landlocked country home to over 16 million people. 60% of the population depend on agriculture as a main source of their livelihood. Pests, diseases, and adverse weather pose not only a threat to their livelihood, but to our nation's food security. Let me take it further. In the last two years, over 450,000 farmers were affected by pests such as the four armyworm. The government stepped in and spent over $2 million in control measures. And even after burning through all this cash, dun, 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 the armyworm is back and has proven to be a permanent threat. Now, what if farmers had a tool that could help them fight against these pesky pests and diseases? A tool that would give them information on weather, yield forecasts, and even water productivity. AgriPredict, we make farming cool. And we have combined artificial intelligence with agriculture to come up with such a tool that works on a mobile platform, Facebook, and even Twitter. A farmer can simply pull out their phone, take a picture of a sickly looking plant, and get on the spot diagnosis, treatment options, and location to the nearest agro dealer shop. For farmers with a basic phone, we have built a USSD feature, and they'll be able to receive updates on impending attacks, treatment options, and even drought predictions. Through our partnership with SNV, we raised over 10,000 euros and managed to onboard 22,000 farmers in just eight months. We plan to charge our clients 99 cents for our services, and our target is to onboard over 300,000 farmers by 2020 and 200,000 farmers every year after that. Ambitious? Yes, but that's the agri predict way. My old star team is made up of myself, Mr. Smiley over there. That's my proficiency. Uh, a data scientist, a machine learning expert, and a UI designer who are passionate about impacting the people's lives and tailoring agriculture to the taste of the youth, a growing customer base. Through our partnership with the Food and Agriculture Organization, we are going to ensure that our clients receive up-to-date data all the time, every time. And our strategy is to partner with organizations for data sharing purposes. Ladies and gentlemen, join us as we embark on this journey to put a dent in SDG number two. Our ask is $200,000 to ensure that our food security for Zambia, for Africa, and the rest of the world is solid. Because we are AgriPredict, and we make farming cool. Thank you. Uh, um, two questions. Uh, you said there are 16 million people, like actually, uh, farmers in Zambia, and you're tackling only 300,000 of them. And the second, you asked for 200,000 US dollars, but charge only 99 cent dollars to the users. How will you ever actually be like a commercial success with these numbers? OK, that's a very good question. Uh, first of all, just a correction. There are 16 million people in Zambia. And we have 60% uh, of the population that are on record uh, as uh, farmers in Zambia. So that's a correction on my part. And then secondly, um, when we're asking for $200,000 and charging 99 cents, uh, because not only the application um, is, is, is a way for us to make our money, but we're looking at building other services around that. Like I mentioned, uh, weather data, yield forecasts, and even uh, predictions of some diseases. We can sell, we can monetize our data and sell to government institutions or institutions like the FAO that I mentioned earlier for commercial viability. So why charge at all and not actually get penetration as fast as you can and then use the data for both the suppliers and governments and other entities that want it? And then second, what's the initial thing you're offering them and how does it extend laterally to other opportunities like market, uh, like farming efficiency? Right, okay, so um, we are charging based on a survey that we did um, back home. Um, the farmers were very open to it, and especially with the fact that we are uh, putting data like weather data, that is something that's not easy to come by. So, you know, they don't mind. Um, through a, a survey uh, done by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, 
uh, it was found that uh, you know, the information that's so important for farmers is weather data. And that's why we're putting a little price tag on that, and they don't mind it. And sorry, what was your second question? And then other, other options, solutions that get built into this over time, like, like efficiency of farming yeah. opportunities. Yeah, so um, we have um, um, actually data collection uh, methods, right? for um, AgriPredict as well. Like I said, it's not just the application. It's not all about just taking a picture of, of the crop and you know, trying to look fancy. We have other uh, means of actually making our, uh, our money, be it an agro-dealer store. This is something that we're trying to put. There's a big problem in Zambia, and the problem is information. For a farmer like myself, who is a youth, I want to grow tomatoes. If I key that into Google, I will not find information. Instead, I will see how to grow tomatoes in Finland or how to grow tomatoes in Switzerland. But what we are trying to do is collect this information and make this information uh, available to the masses and the upcoming youth like myself to make it easier for farming. Do you connect also to kind of like crowdfunding? Like if the farmer like, you know, finds out he needs some like investment, how is he going to actually organize the investment? Okay, so on the investment part, uh, we are not uh, touching that yet, especially for the farmer. Uh, that is for somebody else to do. So AgriPredict is not involved in that. 